Now for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, review part 7, Steel Ball Run. So most of you already know this is the current running JoJo story, and that JoJo is now in Shonen Monthly, not Shonen Weekly. I think being monthly is much better because it gives Hirohiko Oraki more time to work on the art, which definitely benefits from being a monthly release. But now this comic has been running for so long, people might be thinking it's losing its hardcore fans. So how could it please its loyal fans? Yes, we bring back Zeppli. We reunite Joestar and Zeppli, and this time keep them together from start to finish. This already makes me like the series. So here's the story so far. As we know, due to Made in Heaven create an alternative timeline, and when Defeater sent us to another timeline, so now we're in 1890 in San Diego at the start of the Steel Ball Run race. A young man named Johnny Joestar, who came to see the start of the race to reflect on his horse racing past, before he had lost the use of his legs. He witnesses a duel between two men, and one of the men uses a set of steel balls to win, and as Johnny approaches the, and touches the steel balls, the spin from them makes him stand from his chair for a moment. The man known as Gyro tells him if he wants to learn the spin, he must join the race. Johnny's journey begins with showing his determination by following Gyro, but unknown to the participants of the race, a man is pulling the strings of Mr. Steel, and is searching for objects scattered throughout the route of the race course. Johnny is drawn to the objects, which are body parts of a saint. Now he and Gyro must fight through minions who want to steal the saint parts. Johnny must learn more about this mysterious spin. Gyro must win to save the life of a child, and they need to collect the saint parts or else the president's plans cannot be stopped. I have to say this is one epic story. We get a boy becoming a man story, a hint of religion from the saint parts, and it's a race against time to win the race. At first I found the story slow, but now I cannot wait until I read the next chapter. A new timeline and new stands. Stand 105. Stands have drastically changed, and I think in a good way. Revealed in the past stories, the stand arrows were originally rocks from space, and it's still the same. But here, there remain the Devil's Palm, a mysterious moving crater which if a person moves through or stays the night will receive a stand. The same parts also seem to give a stand ability, and in some cases improve the stand itself. Stands seem to only give an extra ability to the user, and not fight for them. I think this is a good concept because it's now fighting with your wits, your own hands, and the power of the stand. The only drawback is no over-the-top punching, but with this West Wild West setting, I want and I get awesome shootouts. At this point I'll talk about a few of the characters, but of course I don't know everything about them, but I'll share with what I know so far. The new Jonathan Joestar is Johnny Joestar. A young boo who became a famous jockey at a young age was well known until an arrogant mistake ended with the loss of his legs. Being drawn to Gyro, he starts to slowly mature while travelling with him and shows how grown determination, but also like the other Joe stars, has something special about him, which draws the saint parts to him. He surprises Gyro by how fast he learns the spin. Johnny is a refreshing character, the story is a boy becoming a man, and we slowly see how much he wants to get the saint parts and get his legs working again. And that's what sets him apart from the other Joe stars. He has a handicap and it doesn't keep him down. He has an ambition to obtain all the corpse parts and learn their secrets. I look forward to seeing how Johnny's path paves the way for the future of Joe stars to come. Tusk. After he started to understand the spin, his stand appeared and it uses the spin. Tusk spins Johnny's fingernails, letting him able to cut as well as shoot them like bullets. But the more Johnny learns of, of the spin, the more Tusk grows. When he learns the golden rectangle, bullet holes he makes continues to spin and track enemies until they hit. Tusk continues to grow the more Johnny grows, and who knows how strong Tusk will become. Gyro Zeppeli has come to the Steel Ball Run race to save a young boy who has been ordered to execute. Gyro is from a long line of executioners who uses the steel balls to give a painless death, and were the ones who developed the spin. Gyro turns his back on his king when he knows the boy is innocent and wants to win the race for his freedom. Gyro at times seems overconfident but becomes smart when danger is about. And though he is Johnny's mentor, he grows as well during the race and is more determined to win it. He teaches Johnny their spin and watches them together reminds me of Jonathan and Zeppeli. 
but this time we get them together all the time and working together. I can't wait to see what more secrets of the steel, ball steel balls hold. Joe did have one of the saint parts, which gave his steel balls an extra ability, but I'm not sure if this is counted as a stand. The spin is this universe's ripple. A spin can be created in most objects to be used as a projectile, but the spins can be used in Zeppelin's steel balls to return it to him. When the spin comes in contact with flesh, he can manipulate it in a number of ways, but most times to contort the body to his liking. The spin can be created from nothing by using the mathematical formula known as the golden rectangle, where if you keep dividing a rectangle, you get an infinite spiral, thus making a spin. It's amazing to see how Johnny and Zeppeli use stability, and I'm waiting to see how they use it in the future. Hot Pants at first said to be a, a man, but Johnny figures out he is a woman from the Vatican, who is also looking for the saint parts. She still remains a mysterious woman, but as a reader I can't help but think she has a thing for Johnny. Cream Starter is a spray can filled with flesh, so you can spray it onto people to fuse their flesh together. She uses the flesh to lash out to attack, and also manipulate her own flesh to perform surprise attacks. Digo Brando. Who resembles our Dio Brando? They're the same, but also they're different. They have sad upbringings, very determined to achieve their goals, and look badass. Seems a little nicer than the Phantom Bloods Dio, but he is still very crafty, and even stole one of the saint parts from our heroes, and then using it as a bargaining chip to get Manhattan City. This Dio still has the coolness as our parts Dio. Scary Monster. At first Dio was infected by an enemy stand, but when he got the saint part from Johnny, he kept the power of Scary Monster. He can turn himself into a dinosaur, make himself physically faster and stronger, but also can use his power to his advantage while he is racing. Lucy Steele is the wife of Mr. Steele, who started the Steel Ball Run. She is 14, but it is revealed that they're not actually married, but he, keep, but he is to repay her for the kindness years ago by telling him he should make his dream come true of the Steel Ball Run. She learns of the President's plans and that they want to get rid of Mr. Steele, so she goes undercover and working with Gyro and Johnny to get the saint parts from the president. I have to say, she grows a lot through the story, and comes up as one of the strongest characters in the whole story. The antagonist of Steel Ball Run is Funny Valentine, the 23rd president of the United States. He is the reason why the Steel Ball Run race started, and the man who is trying to collect all the saint parts. So far it's only just been revealed what his plan is, but his goal is a most interesting one. In a nutshell, he wants to be the person who can decide anything, like the man who gave value to money, or the person who made society's laws. It's explained a lot better in the manga, but I can't wait to know more about him. Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap So far, all I know about this stand is that it involves interacting with parallel dimensions. If this is true, I can't begin to imagine how awesome it's going to be in the final fight. There are a few other races I could mention, but right now I have they haven't been explored, so I'll save them for another review. Lastly, I'll talk about the saint parts. It's always been covered up who the body actually belongs to, but if you can't figure out, I feel sorry for you. The body is Jesus Christ, which in this world had his body scattered across an undiscovered part of the world, which later of course turned to be the United States, and they seem to be attracted to people who are special, and stand users. They're able to give people stands, and at the time seems to power people who already have stands. But also it seems the spirit of Jesus Christ is trying to communicate to people, and has guided Johnny in one of his fights. The parts lead you to the next, and the mystery still remains what happens when you gather them all together, and when one person uses them all. To sum up so far, Steel Ball Run has become one of the best JoJo stories. It did have a really slow start for me, and I hated Johnny's in-depth story. But it quickly turned itself around, and I'm excited when I get to read a new chapter. The story is so enjoyable to read, the artwork is the best it's ever been, and the characters are excellent, and you know I'm happy that Joe Star and Zeppeli are together. And if I can speculate, I did hear Speedwagon Foundation exists in this world, so maybe we get to see Speedwagon return as well. A fan can dream, can't he? That's all I can say of a steel ball run so far, but I will finish this review when the story ends. Until then I hope this review has made you want to read more about Jojo, and that I've done all the Jojo fans out there justice by reviewing Jojo. So until next time, we'll find out more about Funny Valentine, and see what the future holds for the Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Next time, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Steel Ball Run, Part 2.